Hey everyone, this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com. Today we're taking a look at the Toshiba NB505. Uh, this is a new netbook Toshiba announced back at CES 2011. Uh, this particular model has a 1.66 GHz Intel Atom N455 processor, runs Windows 7 starter, uh, comes with 1 GB of RAM, a 250 GB hard drive, and it has a 10.1 inch display like you'll find on many netbooks. Uh, it also has the uh, lower 1024 by 600 resolution uh, and that's important uh, for something we're going to talk about here in just a second. First thing you'll notice when you get this notebook or this netbook is this uh, interesting cover. It's dimpled. It's not just a design. There are actually dimples on the netbook uh, and it's this bright green and while at first you might be like, ooh, that's a little bright, uh, the color's actually grown on us in the couple days that we've had it with us and it garners a lot of attention if you like that. Uh, also, no fingerprints, so that's one real big plus. Uh, here's your power button that's actually accessible uh, when you open the net netbook up. Just kind of give you a look around the outside to get started. Along the left-hand side here, we have a collection of ports. Uh, we have our power. We also have the Kensington lock built into the hinge here. Vent, VGA, USB 2.0, uh, and then we have a microphone and a headphone jack like you normally find. Uh, along the front, you can see the SD card slot in here. It's really the only thing along the front except for some LED indicators. And then along the left side of the notebook, or the netbook, we just have two USB ports. So overall, <clears throat> excuse me, a very clean design. One of the first things you'll notice after you open up the NB505 uh, is the keyboard. And so we don't have the island style like we're starting to see on a lot, a lot of netbooks, uh, but we do have this kind of hybrid thing, so we don't have the really bad style. We don't have the, the new island style that a lot of users, myself included, prefer. But we have this kind of uh, dropped edge keys which tend to do okay. We're going to put it through its paces over the next week or two and, and see how we really like it. Uh, so far it's usable. Um, we're, we're a little concerned, again, the right shift key is a little small, but we do like that the arrow keys are kind of where they're supposed to be and we're not hitting them by accident. Um, as we look down here in the palm rest, it carries over the same dimpled look and feel. Uh, so you have a nice tactile feel here. Um, it's kind of a, a matte finish, which is nice if you're going to have your palms on it at all for any period of time. Uh, it's not going to be um, smudgy and kind of sticky like some of the plastics get. Uh, the mouse pad is pretty generously sized. Uh, it's a little difficult to see with the, uh, the light because it's... Uh, similar to the invisible touchpads that we've seen on other notebooks. Uh, so far we have a pretty good two-finger scroll experience. Uh, the pinch to zoom isn't as good as we've seen on the L655D, which we have in from Toshiba right now, but it is pretty passable. The mouse buttons come flush to the bottom of the unit, and they're pretty, pretty good as far as clicking goes, as far as tactile feedback and everything goes. We do have the standard netbook 10.1 inch screen. Um, the only issue that we've had so far with this, other than the fact that we're, we're fans of a higher resolution, is by default, Internet Explorer comes with three toolbars installed. So there's the Google toolbar, the Norton toolbar, uh, then there's the favorites toolbar, and by the time you get your tabs in here, you've really cut a third of your screen off. And so this kind of extra installations really annoy us, especially on a screen this small. The redeeming feature is that uh, the netbook does ship with Chrome, which is way better, especially on a small screen like this. Uh, so you can remove the toolbars, but the problem is most users don't know they can do that. Um, we hope they'll find their way to Chrome. Other software features uh, comes with Toshiba Bookplace uh, and the Toshiba webcam software over here as well. The webcam is a Skype certified webcam, uh, as is the microphone in here, so you're up and ready to do some voice calls right away. So there you have our first impressions of the Toshiba NB505. Uh, so far, we're pretty impressed with it. The keyboard might take a little bit of getting used to, but we do like the, the design, and the price isn't too bad at around $300 either. We'll have a full review up on notebooks.com here in a couple weeks.